always uh, you know, always true you know and no matter you know it is always when we talk about reality we are talking about things are all things you know doesn't matter you know whatever we experience whatever we feel all our reality is empty or in our existence reality is all are empty you know empty empty or in our nothing existing from the side of the object so the anger arises if you look at the reality of the anger you know, it will disappear so if you are looking from the deeper you know you are looking anger not only from the on the surface but deeper looking you know what are the causes and condition of the anger and how does it appear cause when we talk about relationship between cause and effect mainly we are talking about internal causes and cause and condition so that means we are talking about karmic karmic seed uh, karmic imprint so therefore uh, <coughs> so that means uh, so more we study you know and then more we understand we get knowledge and uh, when we get more knowledge we are thinking you know, more and uh, analyzing the reality or the analyzing, analyzing the analyzing the problem and more we analyze uh, more will we will develop uh, wisdom or the intelligence so then uh, stronger wisdom or intelligent and uh, you know gradually we will be able to to destroy this our uh, what we call ignorance so it, so because of ignorance um, we uh, we for example like uh, buddhist we are talking about our ultimate goal is uh, enlightenment our ultimate goal is nirvana liberation from the cycle of existence and uh, but because of ignorance uh, we think very easy to achieve enlightenment and we think very easy to achieve from the liberation from the cycle of existence so it's because of ignorance and not understanding but we are looking from the long uh, looking for enlightenment and looking for our ultimate goal you know nirvana but we think very easy to achieve enlightenment we think very easy to achieve liberation you know we don't have to do something uh, <coughs> we don't have to do very hard work you know and uh, when we encounter with the when you are going to practice right so if you start practicing or some difficult times uh, then you may lose your practice because uh, so that's uh, due to ignorance block our understanding of the nature of the mind so therefore so <coughs> so here uh, Shanti they were talking about more we study you know, we get more knowledge and we will open our mind and and we have all the you know all the necessary things what we want in our daily practice so more we study we get more knowledge and we think more and we concentrate more than uh, you know step by step and then we will we will be able to remove from this fundamental ignorance so it, otherwise we just like uh, you know you may from from far you will see the mountain right mountain when you look from the far you see the mountain is very very small you know? and maybe you may think oh very easy to climb the mountain on top of the mountain so if you are walking through and coming close to the mountain 
and you see the mountains very, very big, you know, and then you think, oh, impossible to climb that mountain, you know. So that, <coughs> this kind of a discouragement. So here Shanti, they were talking about this one, uh, stopping discouragement about the goal, you know. So goal is, so when we look from the, from the positive side, we are, so we are looking from the Buddha, we will see <coughs> Buddha is uh, completely enlightened and uh, he, Buddha is completely uh, purify all the negative minds and purify, eliminate all the delusions and uh, even the imprint of delusions. And Buddha has such a great compassion, great love, great power. And you see all the good qualities of the Buddha, you know, when we are looking from the, the positive side, right? Now when you want, so we are, uh, from Buddhist perspective, we are saying that everybody has Buddha nature, you know, everybody has Buddha potential, Buddha seed. Even small, tiny, you know, like insect or whatever will become Buddha in the future. And Shantideva said, even the Buddha said, they will become enlightenment in the future because they have Buddha potential, they have uh, Buddha nature. And so, uh, so we see so many good qualities when we are looking from the positive side to achieve enlightenment. But when we start, you know, thinking, oh, maybe how can I achieve like this? Very difficult, you know. Or oh, yeah, maybe in order to achieve enlightenment, I have to do many, you know, sacrificing many difficulties. Uh, you know, in order to achieve enlightenment, I have to be. It's very hard, you know, when we look the the biography of the Buddha. You know, he achieved enlightenment six years meditating in the Buddha Gaya, sacrificing, and Buddha did, <coughs> and so when we look positive side, but maybe you think this is very difficult us to achieve enlightenment. So this will, uh, so this is due to ignorance, blocking. Whenever something coming in your mind like this from during your practice, you need to block this, block this fold will block this, this obstacle. So block this obstacle means, you know, I, I have Buddha nature, which is the basis of everything. I have Buddha potential. So, and uh, if I practice, you know, and if I put effort, and if I continually practice, I will be Buddha, like, become Buddha, like Buddha, you know. So his, Buddha is not like us. From the beginning, Buddha is like ordinary person, you know, exactly the same like us. And then Buddha, what he did, he study, uh, he meditate, and he <coughs> continuously practice, and he see the goal, and he see his pure nature of the mind become enlightenment. So similarly, so when uh, discourages the uh, goal is Goal enlightenment is good, but in order to achieve that goal, we may discourage it, right? So we may need to think about something, you know, uh, something, you know, long, long time, long term interest in sacrificing temporary, you know. For example, like if there are two, right, like adult and the children, you know. Big different thinking, understanding. Children may pick up, you know, temporary happiness and don't know about harming long term, you know. But adult know better than the children, you know. So children become adult, like ordinary people will become Buddhist right? Ordinary people, like we have, we will become Buddhist 
we will be giving enlightenment because we have <coughs> this uh, we have this uh, incredible buddha buddha nature incredible this uh, precious buddha's mind so there's no different buddha's mind nature of the mind our nature of the mind is exactly same you know because buddha's nature of mind and our nature of mind is exactly same no different so we are not seeing our nature of the mind because all this uh, precious mind is uh, this is polluted by all these uh, disturbing emotions afflictive emotions nature is pure you know we have to purify this you know this uh, afflictive emotion and those, those emotions are not nature in the mind like so what the nature is pure all the time you know what uh, we can say the dirty water you know but what the nature is never ever dirty you know it nature is clear from the beginning it is clear all the time but when we polluted the water we say the polluted water it just like our impure mind is just like polluted water so we will <coughs> uh <coughs> through meditation you know through uh, through uh, uh concentration we will be able to clean our this afflicted or the pure mind right? so discouragement so the discouragement the goal is good but in order to achieve that goal we may discourage it so when this comes to your mind during your practice it will block look your ultimate goal therefore you have to think about with the nature you have to think about how the <coughs> previous uh, great master like buddha shanti deva all the great master how they achieve enlightenment you know? so then <coughs> so this is the number one we talk in stopping discouragement about the goal and then next is stopping discouragement about the means to attain the goal so yes here is uh, relying about upon the board of human body free yourself from the great river of pain as it is hard to find this <coughs> board again this is no time for to sleep you fool having rejected the supreme joy of secret dharma which is boundless source of delight why i am i distracted by the cause for pain why i do enjoy why i do enjoy frivolous uh amusement and like So, so that means that means we are talking about this uh, precious human rebirth <coughs> we are talking about this our our making our human body you know, precious the precious this uh we need three qualities remember number one we need confident right number two we need uh joyful effort number three we need wisdom you know if we have these three you know we can make our life precious confidence you know <coughs> right? if we do have if we don't have confidence then uh, we will be not able to achieve anything so confidence right we need confidence to protect yourself Right. So put in your, uh, you know, put in your car. You need put under the garage, right? Confidence, right? So similarly, without confidence, we will not uh, remove our obstacles. So, the, <clears throat> and then we need the practice is uh, not something. 
<coughs> it's just like you know continuation you know. continuation you start practicing and uh, you see you have to practice with the joyfully you know, not you know, understanding the goal understanding the purpose and then you start practicing it's not something like somebody pushing you so you have to practice you know. not like finish your practice with the joyfully you know. so something intention you know. you set up your intention when we do the practice so intention no not necessarily if you are going to practice uh, meditation right <coughs> doesn't matter for 10 minutes set of intention 10 5 minutes i will meditate 10 minutes i will meditate so this intention strongly influence your mind you know so during meditation time you will really enjoy you know, joyful joyful effort and this you should do continuously you know day by day <coughs> week by week <coughs> and month by month eventually you will improve your uh, practice and meditation even so it means you need uh, also you need uh, <coughs> so our human body is <coughs> shanti dewa said it's just like boat to cross the ocean so you need good boat you need water across the ocean right so here we are talking about oceans of the samsara you know. so we need strong body we need strong mind so a strong body <coughs> strong mind making our human life precious you know with confidence joyful effort and wisdom you know wisdom is understanding you know or what where should i go you know wisdom is just like like skillful driver you know when you are driving on the highway you know you have to know where you are going you have start your driving skillful driver you know and if you on the highway and you know where to stop you know where to go the the, <coughs> the wisdom is you know where you are going you are what's your goal you know your goal is enlightenment right your goal is to liberate from yourself from the cycle of existence so in order to do this so what we need we need now here we need uh, <coughs> means to attend the goal we need things which is their goal right so we need that goal uh, mean that means six perfections you know the six perfections so this is the perfection of uh, generosity so the perfection of morality the perfection of the uh, patient and perfection of joyful effort and perfection of concentration and the perfection of wisdom six perfections So you may think six perfections is very difficult to achieve. Like you may think talking about generosity, you know, giving, uh, gener- even generosity. Oh, how can I practice generosity? How can I achieve the transcendental perfection of generosity? How can I achieve transcendental morality? You know? So these are <coughs> the is that the method to achieve to achieve the enlightenment or the inner so um, this may discourage you right maybe discourage so oh, i can't practice generosity i can't practice morality i can't practice you know these six perfections but right? so difficult so therefore <coughs> so here we have to think that Shri Dadava said, "We have to think that 
you are like sick person, you know. Sick person, you know. So if you are ordinary perspective, sick, if you believe you are sick, then you need medicine, right? You need doctor, you know, give you prescription medicine and you have to take the medicine and you have all this. You First you have to recognize I am sick, then uh, doctor will give you prescription medicine, then you will take the medicine and then you will cure the sickness, ordinary perspective like. So here, if you believe we are sick, we are talking about, uh, we are sick in the samsara, you know. So, samsara, when we are in the samsara, we all are experiencing you know, pain and suffering, no matter you know, who you are. And then you know, if I am really sick or in the samsara, then I need, <coughs> I need, uh, I need medita uh, medication, you know. so I need uh, attitude, so I need to practice meditation. So here we are talking about the practicing three trainings, discipline, the moral discipline is the Lama one, you know. the moral discipline is the basis of your practice. So moral discipline, no moral discipline, you know, there's no base of your practice for the meditation. So when we talk about moral discipline, we are talking about the morality is the foundation, the basis of your practice. So morality, right, we are talking about recognizing these negative actions of the ten non-virtuous actions. You know, but actions of the body, actions of the speech, actions of the mind, you know, so ten non-virtuous actions and recognizing the non-virtuous actions are just like you know, poisonous, you know, po if you, if there's poisonous food, you know, you know you can't eat the food because if you eat this poisonous food, it will cause you harm, it will cause you sickness or it will cause you to death. So you will not eat the poisonous food, you know, no matter who you are. If, if somebody says this is food is poison, poisonous food, nobody will eat because poisonous food will harm you, cause you problem. So this, <coughs> this uh, the negative, you know, negative actions of the body, speech and mind are just like poisonous food. So, so if so long, you know, if we are controlled by these negative actions of the body, speech and mind, it will harm us as well as harming others, you know, harming yourself, harming others. So just like you're taking, you know, so if you eat, so the basis of practice is moral discipline. Moral discipline is ten non-virtuous actions. So maybe if you think, you know, ten non-virtuous actions are easy but not easy, like killing, you know, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying, slander, harsh speak, idle gossip, you know, covetousness, malicious thought, incorrect view, you know, so very, you, if you analyze, you, you and uh, these are the basic practice, the fundamental, you know, foundation, system. If we have this practice, then this is what we are talking about, foundation practice of the moral discipline, right? If we have moral discipline, if we increase our moral discipline practice, right? then concentration very easy. Moral discipline will control all the gross level of distractions and agitation. 
So because you are a moral person, oh, I can't, you know, then with this, uh, on the basis of good moral discipline, you know, concentration good, you know, concentration. Wherever you, whenever you concentrate, good concentration, because you have good foundation. And then the basis of this uh, concentration, then you will increase your wisdom, you know, wisdom, intelligence. And you know what should practice, you know, what should abandon. You know exactly where you should go. You know. So then, this is just like medicine, you know. Medicine for our, medicine for our internal mental afflictions. So this is what uh, the Next is uh, stopping discouragement because wherever you are is place to practice. So I will read this uh, text. Without indulging in this potency, I should gather support for enthusiasm and earnestly take control of myself. Then by seeing the quality between self and others, I should practice exchanging self for others. I should never in, indulge in this potency by entertaining self. Thought as, how shall I ever awaken? For the Tathagata who speaks what is true and utter this truth. So, so this is a, uh, if you have, if we have this three, the moral discipline, concentration and the uh, wisdom, so then uh, we will practice wherever you go, you know, not necessarily, you know, even sleeping you are practicing, you know. Even eating, you are practicing. Even you means, uh, I mean, you know, mindfulness. Whatever you do, be mindful, right? Be conscientious. So everything <coughs> is the uh, meditation you have. Like, wherever you go, you don't have to be sit down and meditate. You know. Meditation, so you can practice everywhere. You know. So it means, exchanging oneself to other. So, thinking, you know, this, uh, all our problems come from the selfish mind, self-grasping mind, exchanging, you know. so practicing, exchanging oneself to other, and practicing, you know, giving and taking meditation, you know, so on the breathing exercise. So you take all other people suffering from the right nostrils. So you can breathe from your right nostrils, black smoke, which is symbolizing the you know, <coughs> pain and suffering of other sentient beings. And then after this, you know, then you are giving your spiritual practice, your compassion, your love with the, from your right nostril, right? So breathing white smoke and sending this smoke to your families, to your friends. So, so this is uh, <coughs> talking about <coughs> exchanging one step to other, you know. It's Shantidava practice, right? Buddhichita mind. So, exchanging oneself, Buddhichita mind, and thinking, thinking, you know, analyzing you know, this advantage of this chronic self judging mind, you know. Advantage of the Buddhichita, advantage of taking care of others. So, taking care of others will, taking care of yourself. 
if you take care of other will help you to reach enlightenment closer and closer you know if you take care of others it will take care of yourself because you are close to enlightenment if you you know coming other then this will distend your practice distend your enlightenment and further and further you know so if you use the intelligent you know then you will realize that this practice is very very important you know exchanging one self to other thinking you know many disadvantages of this subjection of the ego mind you know ego mind we talk of buddha talk about ego mind one time you know when buddha in india you know one uh, one of the buddha's uh, disciple asked buddha please give me the peace you know and he say repeat again please give me the peace and so buddha reply you know <coughs> first <coughs> you should remove this i you know ego you know. and then you should remove you know want me which is a desire you know then all you let is peace only peace left you know so you no know, we are talking about this <coughs> we are talking about this uh, ego grasping mind so if we think you know you are during meditation time you know you are thinking oh there are many disadvantages of this self-judging mind then you will recognize this self-judging mind is harmful and you will recognize i should remove this mind you know because if you have any me from the what is pers- from the what is perspective like right? if you believe this person is my enemy <coughs> then you think uh, this is very harmful in me you know i have to protect myself from this enemy so you can do many things to protect the enemy the external enemy right but we are talking about internal enemy if there is no internal enemy no external enemy right all the goal are designated by the mind right in me or the friend good bad all depends on the mind even so it, it means that when we uh discouragement you know discouragement often comes during meditation so this will block your practice so whenever discouragement comes you should look from the positive side you know not not negative side positive side looking with the nature you know looking some something good skillful mind you know means uh, you should not block your mind so you look other side of the mind you know so open your <coughs> open your mind so this will help you to remove the discouragement so these are the um, topic tonight and there are three counter measures to discouragement stopping discouragement about the goal stopping discouragement about the means to attend the goal stopping discouragement because wherever you are is place to practice okay thank you <laughs>